Let's dig into the 2022 Whistler first quarter market numbers. Compared to the first quarter of 2021, the pace of unit sales slowed substantially from 108 sales per month, hitting a high of 114 in March 2021. So far in the first three months of 2022, we've averaged 71 sales per month, lower than the blistering sales pace of last year, but still outpacing the long-term average of 65 units per month. What's interesting is that the average sales price of properties in Whistler has actually continued to climb, even as the pace of sales has slowed. The average transaction value year to date is $1,880,000, which is a notable increase of about 20% from the average transaction value of $1,570,000 reached at the end of 2021. Property inventory in Whistler has slightly improved from the all-time historical low reached in December 2021, but the market is still constrained by a distinct lack of supply, and we expect that to continue throughout the second quarter of 2022. At this point, the Whistler market has not been affected by the March 2022 interest rate increase, the first increase from the Bank of Canada since 2018. Additional interest rate hikes are likely on the way in an attempt to curb inflation as the year progresses, but we expect the impact on the Whistler market to be minimal at most. The foreign buyer ban announced on April 7, 2022 as part of this year's federal budget excludes recreational properties, which on paper seems like great news for the resort, but whether real estate in Whistler is within the federal government's definition of recreational properties remains to be seen. An avid ski family from Seattle buying a home or condo in Whistler is about as recreational as it gets, but we expect to find out more on this in the coming days. We recommend keeping in touch with your local Whistler real estate agent to learn more as this federal regulation develops. Given the vast majority of Whistler buyers originate from the BC Lower Mainland and foreign ownership here is actually quite small in comparison. We don't anticipate this will have an impact on the pace of sales or prices in the Whistler market. As of yet, the current geopolitical conflicts and resulting uncertainty also hasn't seemed to have had an impact on the market, but we'll see if that continues. The Whistler Real Estate Company and the Whistler 2020 Development Corporation have paired together to sell land and condominiums at Checkham's Crossing. The first project was River Run, where 18 open market lots were for sale, 17 are currently sold. The next project was 100 condominiums for the Whistler Housing Authority. This provides local people who are, have been on a wait list with opportunity to own in Whistler at an affordable price. We've sold 46 condominiums, or the first parcel, 1340 Mount Fee Road already, and we'll release the second parcel in the next two months. The pace of sales in Pemberton slowed by over 30% in the first quarter. Pemberton typically averages about nine sales per month, but the first quarter saw an average of around six. This is indicative of general slowing across the market, but is exaggerated by Pemberton's lack of available product. Pemberton is currently sitting at a historical low levels of inventory with only 21 active listings. Other product that is exciting and new won't be available until 2023. Where we will start to see a change in our market is likely going to be with the increased interest rates. Pemberton is a work-live community and will show effect at some point, possibly later in 2022 or early into 2023. The recent discussion on ban on foreign buyers is unlikely to have a huge effect, if any, on the Pemberton market, as the majority of our buyers come from the east side of the Portman Bridge. While we may see the marketplace change in Pemberton, one thing that will remain continuous is that Pemberton is a great place to live. There's great people, great recreation, um, whether it's going to the farms or riding the bike trails. Uh, Pemberton is desirable and we will not see that demand change. That sums up our 2022 first quarter Whistler and Pemberton market report. Thanks for watching. We'll see you for our next quarterly update in July.